Good morning beauties, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Yanni, and today I just figured I would do a chit chat get ready with me. I know I haven't done any like makeup tutorials per se, you know, just kind of showing you techniques and stuff like that, but I just wanted to talk and I just wanted to tell you um, what I've been up to in the last few weeks. When you see this, it'll probably be after all of my pre-recorded videos have gone up. Um, but yeah, so if you're interested in getting ready with me, because I'm getting ready to go to work, um, grab a snack, grab a bottle of water, you know, because we still trying to get healthy up in this joint and keep on watching. So, hi, how are you guys? I'm doing okay. I already have my primer on, which I used uh, the Glassy Primer, the Glassy Skin Balm from Touch and Soul, and I used my e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. You guys know, it's my favorite. And I already did my brows, and I used my L'Oreal Pomade, and I used my ColourPop Pencil. So, we are gonna do our eyes while I chit chat with you. Just gonna do something, I don't even know, but whatever. So, I'm doing okay. It is currently the 18th of January, and yes, I am definitely on a positive track. I have been just listening to motivational speaking, speeches. I've been listening to a lot of Steve Harvey and I've got to tell you he is very motivating very inspiring and I enjoy listening to his speeches um, because he's just real he's not preaching per se I mean some people may think it's like preachy but if in any way it touches you then you know you were meant to hear it I just I, that's how I feel and I just enjoy listening to him I've been listening to him every morning and every night hi baby that's my son okay so you're probably gonna hear my children come in and out because it is a Saturday and I am getting ready for work and they're all home nonetheless um, I'm gonna be using the storybook cosmetics little briar little briar rose um, so yes, we're just gonna create something. I don't know what I'm creating, but we're just gonna do something. But yeah, I mean, it's been weird. It's just been, not weird, bad, weird, good. It's just, I have such a new outlook on life. Like, I have just been, I naturally am a very negative person. And I think get to me very, very fast lately because I just, it's just been too much it's, you know it's just a lot going on all at the same time and I'm like Lord what is going on like like why like uh, why and you know I've never really been a you know I've gone I I went to school Sunday school and all that stuff like that and I wasn't you know I was my family was really into religion when I was younger. When I grew up, I still, of course, believe in God and everything, but I never really was very active in the church or anything like that. Um, just go to church um, probably once or twice a year, maybe, um, because I just feel like I can worship God from everywhere. I don't have to go into a church, um, and I have a personal relationship with God myself, so I'm okay with not going to church. But I had found myself pulling just, it's just been so different lately. It's just been like, I'm looking for something. I'm looking for something and I can't seem to find what it is. And just thinking that, you know, I need to be positive. I need to be more positive. Stop being so negative. You know, it takes more energy to be negative than what it does to be positive. And it's so true, so true. So I, for me, because I'm such a negative person, because I've had so many negative things happen to me, I just gravitate to negativity. So it's like difficult for me to be positive. Like everything just goes negative. Okay, so I created a winged liner off camera just with this shadow right here. And then I used this shadow and a little bit of this shadow in the inner corners. So we are running out of time limit. I'm using the Maybelline 
smooth and dewy foundation. I want it to look a little bit refreshed and a little bit more dewy today. That's why I use the Glassy Skin Balm from Touch and Soul as my primer because it makes my skin look nice and vibrant. So, yeah, i just been extra trying to be extra positive and just trying to you know just wake up with positive outlook on life every day and there's a, quite a few things that Steve Harvey talks about that I want to do like I want to create my vision board I've had the idea to do a vision board for two years and I just never pushed myself to do it I started it and I have to just put it together and then he said to write my dream or my vision down and you know just ask for it and you shall receive it you know um, from the Lord and I have been trying so hard to try and get it done all by myself that I said you know what I'm gonna have to try another way and I'm just gonna have to have faith and I'm just gonna have to ask God for it and just he says you know just write it down and be plain about it so I'm just gonna be as detailed as possible like he says and just ask for the things that I want I'm not trying to be rich because that's not what I want um, but I do want to be you know comfortable and you know be able to go to a store and not have to like be upset that I can't buy something if my kids need a pair of sneakers you know I can go ahead and buy it I don't have to worry about oh can I afford it how am I gonna pay this back how am I gonna do this so there's that so I'm so trying that's like one of my biggest things I also want a house I've been wanting a house for such a long time and I just haven't seen a means of how we're gonna get it and I just have to put faith in God that he is gonna get me the house of my dreams the house that I, I want and that I need for my children and for myself and for my husband so I've just been really 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 positive it's hard work like I said because I always gravitate to negative and yeah it's just getting up and trying to have a positive outlook in life is just it's hard it's a work in progress for me and I catch myself gravitating toward negative thoughts and then I change my whole attitude and that was another thing that he said if you change your attitude you change your altitude so like if you think big you're gonna be big if you think small then you're gonna stay small and then you also have to be able to be comfortable with being uncomfortable and you have to you know get out of your comfort zone which I'm all for so I'm just trying to just live my life like that right now because there's no other way I use the Milani conceal and perfect concealer I just think I love that one so very much it's like super duper creamy and I'm gonna go in with my derma blend I love this powder it just makes my face look so airbrushed under my eyes anywhere I put the concealer I'm going to put some of this powder I don't let it bake for too long this is my Aesthetica brush my face brush Lately, I've just been having all these fine lines under here because I haven't been sleeping well and I haven't been hydrating my eyes and I hate the way that it looks. But I'm trying to work back to getting 
you know my face and my eyes back to normal because this just looks like a hot mess I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the essence winter dreaming nude liner why my eyes look bright all right now we're gonna go in with our bronzer and I'm using an oldie but goodie this is the essence Sun Club bronzer I love this bronzer very very much and I'm using these new Morphe brushes. They're not new. I bought them like a couple of years ago at iMats, but they are like the scratchiest things ever. These are not my favorite Morphe brushes. Not my favorite. Don't really care for them. I haven't tried the eye brushes though, because I'm kind of scared, because these are like super scratchy. They remind me of when I first bought the BH Cosmetics brushes before I started buying their brush kits it's just like I don't know but I don't know and they do these particular brushes they do lose hairs which is kind of frustrating to me because like I just opened these up so these are not my favorite brushes at all but this is what I have next to me so we're just gonna run with it I just feel like, I don't know. Mm, this bronzer smells so good. All right, now I'm gonna go in with the Winter Dreamin'. This is their blush and highlight two in one, and I love it. This is the blush. Oof. I need to blend this out. I don't know why, but this particular brush is super, super, duper scratchy. Like, super scratchy. I'm just using my bronzer to like tone this down because this just looks like a hot mess. I just stamped it on like a crazy girl. Okay, so before I put highlight, you guys know that I like to, I'm gonna use this because this one's almost done. This is my primer water from Wet n Wild, the coconut. It's just gonna melt in all of my liquids. Or excuse me, it's gonna melt in all of the powders. Now for highlight, I'm gonna use the Pure Nude Highlighter from Essence. It's one of my favorite natural highlights. It's just such a natural glow. So pretty, so so pretty, very nice. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and finish our lower lash just cause I like to run some on the lower lash line. I'm just going to use this small one. Now I'm gonna go in with mascara on my bottom lashes. 
and then we're going to do a lip. Do a lip. All right, so for lips, I'm actually... Okay. All right, so for lips, I'm actually going to go in with the Miracle Matte Lip from Flower Beauty. This is in the color Soft Berry. And I'm not going to use a lip liner today. I know, what is that? This is the final look. So pretty. So I just wanted to jump on here and just kind of say it's harder to be positive than it is to be negative. It's so quick to gravitate to negativity. But if you really truly want something in life, you need to be positive. You need to ask for help. You need to ask God, you know, to give you what you want. And I'm definitely on that track. I can't wait to see what God has in store for me. I know that he has something really, really good because he puts me through so many trials and tribulations and I keep getting through them. So I know there's something on the other side for me. But yes, thank you so much for watching. This completes this chit chat get ready. I don't know if it was too much of a chit chat um, more than a get ready. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all the love and the support, of course. Hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you can get notified when I upload videos, which is three days a week, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, you know, if life permits. And yes, of course, subscribe to my other channel with my son, Real Beauty, from Two Sides. And we will be uploading tomorrow our second video. Thank you so much for watching. Again, I appreciate all the love and the support. And I will see all you beauties in my next video. Have faith. Bye.